What's happening guys? Greg Hap here from Menagerie Studio. Today we're gonna take you through a quick little technique on how to highlight articles in your video. Let's check it out. All right, let's give you a quick look at what we're gonna be creating here. So as you can see, we got a nice animation. A lot of times people like to highlight articles in their videos, but this can be a lot to look at. So this is just a nice way to highlight a very specific point and uh, you know, keep it all looking clean. So let's jump right into it. We'll come down, new sequence. We'll just call this article highlight. Click OK, and we'll just drag our article into the timeline here. Zoom in on that. And uh, you can right click and hit set to frame size if it's not quite where you want it. Um, in my case, I'm gonna come up here and just put the scale to 80%. So now, um, selected on this layer, we're gonna alt click and drag up to duplicate the layer. On this layer, this is where we're gonna use, um, this is where we're gonna crop down and highlight a specific point. So we'll start by bringing the scale up a little bit. Just bring it up to 130 in our case, and we'll go over to effects and crop. Drag that right onto there. And for my specific crop settings, I'm gonna go with 24 by 63 and 27 by 30. But this will really depend on what part, what part of the article you want to highlight. So as you can see, we have that part good to go. We'll just move that somewhere near the center of the frame for us. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Just bring this over a little bit so we're right in the center. All right, that looks good. Now, this looks a little busy. We're gonna go ahead and blur the background. So we'll come down here, type blur. We'll get a little Gaussian blur, drop that right on there. And I'm just gonna bring this up to 40. I feel that's pretty good amount. So uh, while we're here, we can go ahead and actually animate the blurriness from zero to 40 so it kind of comes on nicely. So we'll click on this little stopwatch here, drag forward, creates a keyframe and click zero. Now, as you can see, it goes nice little animation in. We're gonna go ahead and highlight these keyframes, click ease in, right click, I should say, to ease out as well. And that'll just ease the animation out a little bit. Okay, so I like where we're at now. Let's go ahead and animate this highlighted section onto the frame. So we'll come up here to the position. We'll click on the keyframe. It can be anywhere in the timeline, doesn't really matter. Um, we'll bring that over, click on add keyframe. We'll go to our first one and we'll just animate this off frame. So our first keyframe, that's where it'll start and then it'll come in. Now we'll do the same here. We'll right click, ease in, right click again, ease out. But now we're gonna go into this little drop down arrow and play with this graph a little bit just to make this a little more dynamic. So we got these little nodes here. If you click plus or minus on the keyboard, you'll zoom in wherever your playhead is and we can go ahead and navigate. And I'm gonna click on this one at the end here and drag. And uh, I actually want this to come in at the same time that this starts to blur. So we'll go to this first keyframe on our position. We'll come down to here. We'll select our blurry keyframes, zoom in, and we'll just butt that right up against there. Beautiful. Perfect. So let's say we want uh, maybe this to slide onto the frame, similar to our example here. Say uh, you have this coming up over top of another video, it makes a nice transition. So to do that, pretty simple, go up to position while selected on the bottom layer. We'll come ahead a little bit to where we want that to end. And we'll just drag this out of frame. Again, we'll highlight the keyframes, ease in, ease out. Little drop down arrow, plus on the keyboard to zoom in. And we're just gonna click and drag Beautiful. You can always play around with the timings a little bit, so you want this to be a little quicker. Boom, all right, cool. So next, we're gonna go ahead and add our highlight, little highlighter effect. So to do that, I'm going to come over and just create a new color mat. Click OK. And for this, I'm using a color code 
that you can find in the description. It's just a uh, green highlighter. You can just copy and paste into this area and click OK. Beautiful. All right, so we'll drag this out onto our timeline, just where our playhead is right now. You can see this looks very aggressive. Not good. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll just hide that for now. And we're gonna do this using the crop feature again. This just love the crop feature. I went ahead and entered in the exact values I'm using for this specific scenario. You just wanna make sure that uh, wherever you want your highlighter to animate in from, in our case, we want it to go from left to right. You just want that to be set to 100. So we'll, uh, we're actually going to keyframe this position here. So uh, we can go ahead and unhide this now. And you see it didn't really change anything. That's because this is set to 100. Now, if we move ahead a little bit, we'll just drag this down until all of our words are covered. That looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, looks great, right? Now, we're gonna go ahead and change the blend mode to multiply. Boom, beautiful. So now we have a nice highlighter effect coming onto the frame. Oh yeah, liking that. All right, we'll go ahead. Do what we do with these, we'll right click. <laughs> oh man, I'm having too much fun. All right, zoom in on those. Actually, I don't really like playing with that too much other than ease in and ease out. I think that looks perfect. It's, you know, if we do it this way, I'll show you. It just looks a little too jarring. Yeah, so I actually like, if we just undo that, we'll leave these just plain and dandy beautiful. Now if we want to take care of this bottom line right here, we'll go ahead and find where we want kind of the bottom to start coming in. We'll click on the color mat, alt, drag up to duplicate. Start that layer right there. And all we're going to do is mess with the position to bring that down. Perfect. And then all we have to do is get this animation to line up so we want this to start at 100 again, so there's no highlight. Click on the keyframe, come ahead a little bit, bring this down until your text is highlighted. Highlight those, I'm saying highlight a lot. We'll zoom in, make sure we're good to go, and we'll give this a preview. Beautiful. Now I do want this to take a little longer to animate in, so we'll just click and drag that last keyframe. Take a look at this. Perfect. Move this a little forward. We want it to come in a little sooner, so it seems pretty seamless. Bam. Bring these all to the same out. All right. So all this is adjustable, of course. You can change the color, you can change the timing. Um, but yeah, that's just a super quick and easy way to bring attention to a specific part of an article you're working with in maybe your documentary film or anything like that. So if you found the video helpful, please go ahead, let us know in the comments. We always like to hear from you guys. Let us know if there's anything I missed. What would you do differently? But make sure while you're down there, please give the video a like. It helps us out a ton. And if you're gonna stick around for more content like this, consider subscribing. Thanks guys, talk to you later.